Hydrolysis of salts. Hydrolysis is the reaction of a salt with water. You must know this definition very well. They do ask this, they ask it often, and this section could be up to five or six marks of your chemistry exam. You only need to know two rules. The ions of groups one, two, and seven do not undergo hydrolysis. For example, sodium ions, magnesium ions, chloride ions. As well as that, sulfate ions and nitrate ions do not undergo hydrolysis. This is the easiest way to remember um, which ions would undergo hydrolysis and which ones wouldn't. Now we're going to look at four examples and apply these two rules. The first example is sodium sulfate. Sodium ions are from group 1, so that rule applies. They do not undergo hydrolysis. And sulfate ions also do not undergo hydrolysis. So sodium and sulfate ions don't undergo hydrolysis. So sodium sulfate is a neutral salt. It could have been formed from sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, and sulfuric acid, which is a strong acid. So salts formed from strong bases and strong acids are always neutral. The second example, potassium carbonate. Potassium ions are ions from group 1, so they do not undergo hydrolysis, but the carbonate ion will undergo hydrolysis. So you react the carbonate ion with the water molecule. Carbonate cannot react as an acid, it does not have protons to donate, so the water molecule will act as the acid and the carbonate will act as the base, so the water donates the proton to the carbonate ion. You end up with a hydrogen carbonate ion and a hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion is very strongly basic, so we have a basic salt. So potassium carbonate is therefore a basic salt. The second example, ammonium chloride. Chloride ions are from group 7, so they do not undergo hydrolysis. So we're going to react the ammonium ion with the water molecule. The ammonium ion is going to be the acid in this case, and the water is going to be the base and accept the proton. So um, the reason that we know that this is the acid is because this cannot be a base. You haven't seen NH5 2 plus where it could act as a base and accept a proton. So we assume that this is the acid, it donates the proton. We have ammonia and a hydronium ion. Hydronium ions are very strongly acidic, so therefore this is an acidic salt. Lithium ethanoate or lithium acetate. Lithium is from group 1, so it does not undergo hydrolysis. The lithium ion does not undergo hydrolysis. So the ethanoate ion or the acetate ion will undergo hydrolysis. So you react it with water. This does not donate one of these three hydrogens. It, this is an organic ion. It's from the acetic acid, which you work with in your organic chemistry. So the water donates the proton. Water acts as the acid. This acts as the base. So when it accepts a proton, we end up with acetic acid or ethanoic acid again and a hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ions are strongly basic, so lithium ethanoate or lithium acetate is a basic salt. The last example that I have is a salt where both ions can undergo hydrolysis. The ammonium ion undergoes hydrolysis and the carbonate ion can undergo hydrolysis as we have seen in these two previous examples. The carbonate ion reacts with water and the ammonium ion reacts with water. In this salt, both of these ions will react with water. So the pH of a salt like this will depend on the relative strengths of the acid and base. We normally take these salts as neutral because it would be from ammonia, which is a weak base, and a carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. We consider that a neutral salt.